In horse racing, everybody focuses on the finish. But the main thing is to start. And we're here with Mark Batson, the starter of the Barbadian <laughs> Horse Racing for how much years now, Mark? Oh Tell my me. Oh gosh, at least 20. 20 years? Oh my god. And you look like 25. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we were raised in the gardens together. So I know you're not 25, right? I know. <laughs> but thank you though. I know you're, I know you're <laughs> more 55. <laughs> Frat will get you everywhere. <laughs> you having horses racing on Saturday? Oh yes, oh yes, Joshua. <laughs> oh, okay. I need all the help in the world. No problem, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we were raised together in the garden. We, we grew up in a close next community. Yes. We both are in the business of horses still. How do you start? In this though, tell me. I know how I started. Tell me how you got into it. Well, basic family on both sides of my family, my mother and father are involved in horse racing. Right. My father worked for the turf club, actually still involved with the turf yes. club. He's a, he's, well, he's not a steward anymore, but he's a director. Mm -hmm. And then on my mother's side of the family, you have the husband. So right. You have oh. the husband. So the come from a, yeah, the, <laughs> the husband. Wow. So so yeah, so um, I have a passion for horse racing. I love it, you know. And um, yeah, that's why I'm here. And I mean. I, I don't, I mean, from, from young, we used to come to races and everything like that. Yes, yes. But how do you actually get the starter's job? Well, my dad did it for the time being, yes. and I, I basically followed him throughout my whole racing career because he was a patrol judge. Yes. And I was a patrol judge. So were you well. in the patrol box with him? And, yes, and then yes, up yes. There yeah, were starters yeah, where yes. you got familiar with things? Correct, that's correct. So I was basically following his footsteps. Wow. So he was the assistant starter, and then I became the assistant starter. And he, the starter then was Neil Ski, yes. so I came on to him, yes. and um, yeah, and then he he left, and then I took over the post of being starter. Okay. How about the job? Do you like the job? The way it goes? Do you think things could be improved to make it better? Yes, for sure. There definitely could be improvement, you know. And you can always learn. I'm always willing to listen to people. Mm -hmm. and it's not the easiest of jobs no. because there's only one winner. Yes. And. Um, Unfortunately, we live in a society where people make a lot of excuses for things. Yes. And I'm not going to tell that sometimes it's not my fault, but most of the times it's something that could happen in a race, right? Yes, yes. But I mean, you know, I, I, I saw a clip one time. I never went up there before, so I don't know how hectic it is. Yeah. But it seems to be crazy up there. It seems to be. And then you hear my neck is <laughs> It does my every side. Eh? <laughs> That's why you have to go here. That's it. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. if you stand it right up, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and it's not that I shave it, huh? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, the stress, the stress just drops it out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and you know, like, we, we, we have a special, it's special around the garrison because it's so close yes, to the yes. uh, spectators. That's right. And so even when you're schooling horses in the morning, you can't simulate a race there Correct. because it's not that crowd around. Yes. I don't think a lot of people truly realize that you know, the horses are not accustomed to it, no. especially racing for the first time, you have the crowd that close. You know, so what we have is really unique. Mm -hmm. So it's really special for visitors and people and locals of the island to actually be so close. But then when it comes to actually starting the races, it does have its challenges. Yes. And you know, like, it's interesting, until you walk in a person's shoes, you don't yes. know, because you just see it yes. and people just assume. Yes. But it is a very difficult job, it can be. And so it's safe to say that you get a lot of blame for a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, a lot of fingers, a lot of finger pointing. They point at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do, they do. And how do you handle that stuff? Well, I don't have any hair anymore. So, oh. Uh, <laughs> I came to Garrison with a full head of oh, hair. Oh, my God. No, um, <laughs> no, it is a stressful job, yes. job but I, I love it and have a passion it's for good it. It's good thing it's just twice a month. And it, you can imagine <laughs> it was <it> more. <laughs> I probably don't have any eyebrows. <laughs> Well, but I, I know it's something, I, I guess it's something you have to love to, to continue to do it. And you know, I, mean, I really, I, I commend you for the service you've Thank given you us. Sean. I Thank mean, you. I appreciate you, it. It's over 20 years. Yeah. 
You must be doing something right, or they don't have many stars. Well, you know the rest, I'm not telling you that, but I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. I thought because you're my friend, I think it's a, it's a really hard job. It is, it is. It really is. I mean, I've been to Canada, and I know it's a completely different atmosphere. People are always miles away from horses. It's fine. But you have, you're lucky now that they put that rail yeah, up now yeah, to, to keep sure. the crowd for, for back sure. a bit. Yeah, definitely. But other than that, man, I, I really commend you, man. Well, thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. But I really love what I do on this. There's always room for improvement, yes. you know, and I think with schooling the horses um, would help a lot. But yes. to, to, to be honest with you, there's no training here. Yes. So you have no training for handlers, yes. starters, everything is done on the job. Yes. So it's not as easy as people think. So you even see like people who live abroad yes. commenting, but they don't know the inner works that yes. goes into getting horses prepared. But what I can say is I hope in the future they have more schooling involved but to help you guys to get races better on Sunday, and, and you know, and that would be make things so much better, right? It would make things so much better. Sure. But anyway, Mark, thank you so much for this interview. You're welcome. This thank is you. Sean Hall. This is Mark Batson. What horse are you racing? Horse going again? Is the last okay. race, Joshua? Okay. Remember that. <laughs> now don't do me any favors now. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> but we are out of here. <laughs> Thanks.